Hi everybody, this is Diane. Oh, I'm here to work on some ephemera for my um, sewing binder journals. Having trouble with my printer again. It's a good printer when it works. It's supposed to be a wireless, so I should be able to be downstairs as long as the right paper is in the printer and print things. But it's temperamental and sometimes it won't print unless I have it up here and connected with a wire. So I'm trying to print things and I brought it up here and connected it and it is still not printing. It's connected and it's not printing. I turned it off, turned it back on twice. It is still not printing. So I don't know. I just have to give up on it for now. Yesterday I did take my white, black and white copies and I could, I can scan and print. It just won't print from the computer. So what I wanted to try doing was printing on these pages onto um, patterned paper because there is so much white space on them. What I'm trying to print now are the coffee dyed versions. So they're really pretty on my laptop. It looks really pretty. It looks like they're on coffee dyed paper. And I'm trying to print them off to show you, but it is not working. And you can probably tell I'm frustrated, but it's just been one of those weeks anyway. So I took these and put them on my scanning bed and made copies. And they still look good. So I printed them on patterned paper that has, you know, not too busy of a pattern. This one just is a pink background with some white script on it. And doesn't that look pretty? And then I did the same one on a little floral. There's that one. And on yellow polka dots. Then I did this one. this one and the lovely ladies this one's a little off center because it pulled out two sheets at once and it pulled it off center a little bit but I'm I'm not folding this into a journal so I'll just cut this and use it somehow and I like it on this paper too And I even did the flashcards. And I printed them in color instead of black and white because of the, you know, it's a very pale beige color around the cards, but it, that doesn't show up very well. So I'll just cut them, use them somehow. I don't know how. I just wanted to play with them. So as I'm sitting here feeling frustrated and trying to think what I want to do, because I really have no idea what I want to do with these things, I decided what I do with it. Decided to try making a pocket. Oh, here it is. So I folded this in half. I will sew these edges, but right now I'm just trying to lay out a collage. So I took this vintage pattern envelope and cut it up and um, I don't know where the rest of it is. Oh, here it is. So I cut, I tore this off the flap. It was perforated. This was originally 65 cents. This is from the back of it. Um, this is from the front with the number on it. And then of course the two ladies. So I was just laying out how I might want it to be. Her foot got torn off because it was all, that part of the envelope was torn. So I can put her in front of her damaged foot and put this on here somewhere
got my little bits of fabric here. This was on the crease of the fabric, so it's not going to want to lie down until I glue it, but it's interesting it doesn't have any color right on the crease. Oh, yesterday I, I realized I was making this card and I had this on when I laid it on when I did the collage and then I took everything off and glued it and I forgot to glue that on. But it's there now. Just wanted you to know. I did remember. Okay, I think that's enough. So I am going to start gluing these things down. I think part of my problem today is I am so tired because I couldn't sleep last night. You know, when you get so much, you have so much on your mind and you feel like you have so much to do. And I'm just kind of feeling desperate to get go through all my stuff and purge and get stuff ready to put in the shop so I couldn't sleep and I was up until after three o'clock in the morning I went through I started before bedtime going through all of my drawers of patterned paper and I came up with a very tall stack well to me, it seems like a tall stack of paper that I am going to destash. Some of it is just simply because there were three of the same design on, in these big pads of paper. So I took one out of every design. And that's 60 papers in a pad because it was a 180 page pad. And I got rid of a third of it. So, and I did that with two or three pads. And then other pads that either I, I had used them and didn't want to use anymore, uh, or I just didn't like the pattern. So, anyway, I've got a lot of paper. So, I tried to go to bed after I had finished that, and I still couldn't sleep. So, I got up again. I went through all my music paper. So now I've got a big pile of music paper that I'm going to destash. And I've been debating in my mind, I think one reason I couldn't sleep was because I'm not sure what I want to do. I have so much scrapbooking paper, 12 by 12 scrapbook paper, that I would rather destash than throw away. I'd rather, you know, have someone else have it. So I found 12 by 12 boxes that are three inches deep on Amazon and you have to buy 25 of them and so I didn't know if it was worth it would I have 25 journal kits to put together well I already have some things set aside that are themed um, supplies that I wanted to make journal kits with so that would take care of some of them and then I've got this other stack of paper, but the thing is, do I want to spend the time working on these journal kits, get them listed, and then and sell them, and then box them and mail them? That's a lot of time. But I think I would rather do that than just throw them away. So I think, I'd love to hear your ideas on that. The, the thing that I know I could sell some of the journal kits, I just don't know if I could sell 25. You know, if I fill up all those boxes. And one of the things that might be a problem is the shipping. I don't know how much 
a 12 by 12 inch box full of supplies would cost and what the shipping would be and I have to charge enough to make it worth my time. Ouch! I <laughs> stuck that pin right in my finger. So anyway, that's my dilemma. But I think I'm going to go ahead and order those boxes and just start filling them and see what happens. I'd love to hear your ideas on it. I had been uh, collecting things for different themes of journals. I really like this pocket. I think that looks good. So I'll stitch it here and here and it will be bound into uh, I'll put the, you know, punch the holes in it and it will go into the binder like this and I'll just leave this the way it is and we can put things inside it. Let's do another one, shall we? Um, so I've been collecting different themes. For, sometimes it's just because I keep finding stuff that would go with this theme so I start saving it and sometimes it's because I do like the theme. But I'm thinking, you know, I'm at a point now in my creative process where I would rather not do themes. I want to do, I do want to do some themes, but there, are, but I would rather do a lot of journals without themes, just do an eclectic journal. So this one will be glued, will be in like this and the collaging will be on the back side but I'll still punch the hole here. So I'm going to de-stash some of those um, collections that I have. So those are some of the themed collections that I want to de-stash. Um, so then I thought, and plus I think I'll probably have some Christmas journal kits that I can put together. I really like that one. This pattern is in really, this envelope is in really rough shape, so I think this is a good one to cut apart to use in collage. Oh, it's got some vintage seam binding in there. That's cool. Look at this cool instruction page. It's got blue ink. I like this. The flap is missing. I don't know the year of this, but it looks pretty darn old. Anyway, that I feel like I'm making a lot of good progress in de-stashing and putting things in my shop and getting them sold. And then I do more sorting and cleaning and I end up with more stuff that I have to de-stash. So I guess when I go to bed and you know my mind is not active doing things then I start thinking about all the stuff I have to do so I can be ready to sell my house and that's when I kind of feel agitated and have to get up and start doing stuff but um, my contractor is here today he just the um, power washed the house which is part of the package of a new roof which is great because the house was dirty but just the whole process of taking everything off the roof and putting on a new one just made everything seem really gritty and dirty so it's power wash now and he is working on fixing my front steps they are very wide steps made of concrete and they're crumbling plus they had sunk so that the top step was was way too high. It, it's, it wouldn't pass regulation inspection now because of the depth of that top height um, step and 
it's hard for me to get up on days when I'm tired. It's hard for me to lift my, lift my leg up that high. So anyway, we're getting that taken care of. He's uh, putting treated lumber around the steps. So they're going to look like wooden steps, but they'll have that concrete structure inside still. So that's being taken care of, and I have to get somebody to patch two ceilings in my upstairs where the roof had leaked. And I have a couple other little things that need to be done, and then I believe I can call a realtor and get the house listed. Because I'm pretty excited about getting done, getting moved into a smaller place with less stuff in it. I just want a simpler life. If I get the double wide, it's um, the lawn is very little and I would just get a rotary mower one of those little hand push jobs and I could do that myself I don't have to worry about pulling the cord I have a bad shoulder and uh, I can't really pull a lawnmower cord and right now I'm paying somebody to mow the lawn every week and I'd rather not have to do that And I would have a little shed out back to keep my lawnmower in and my shovel and stuff like that. Take a lot of adjusting, being in a much smaller place and just a different neighborhood. And it's a little bit out of town, which I will notice on the days that I have to be at my daughter's house at 6 o'clock in the morning watch the boys. I'll have to get on, I'll have to go earlier. Not too much earlier. It, you know, it, probably five minutes or so to, uh, five minutes or so difference to get to her house from, from the double wide to her house rather than from here to her house. So it's not that much different. The roads might be slightly more difficult in the winter time, but I don't know. We'll take it as it comes, I guess. I'll have to glue her leg on. This envelope was torn right there at her ankle. Maybe I'll use her somewhere else. And I'm glad I'm finally using some vintage patterns. I have used some, but I have quite a collection. We have another hot day here today. But my parents, my dad took my mother and me out for our birthday lunches today at Curly's Chicken House in Elmira. That's our favorite family restaurant. I think I've mentioned it before. We went there when I was a kid. We didn't go out to eat very often, but when we did, um, that's where we went. All of our family events, <laughs> if, we're, if it's a family dinner that we're going out to, that's where we go. We have had my some anniversary parties and birthday parties for my parents there in their little in the back room that they reserve for groups. We've done that quite a bit. Delicious chicken and today's was exceptional. So flavorful and moist and just perfectly cooked. So that was a good time. And I know I'm fortunate that I have both of my parents. They are my mom just turned 83, 83 or 84, and they're both living.
Oh, I didn't turn my air conditioner on before I started this video. I can certainly feel it. I said it was a hot day and I don't know why I don't have my air on. So I couldn't do a video this morning before I went because they were doing the power wash and that was quite loud. But right now they're just working on the steps so you might hear it but it's not not bad. I like to have everything touching something, not just left out on its own. Although this number here got left stranded like a little island, but that's okay. I don't mind that one. Usually I like to have some point of connection in a collage. Somebody sent me these hearts cut out of fabric. Okay, now, I think I left my phone downstairs so I can't take a picture with, of this before I start taking apart and gluing it. So we'll just have to try to remember. This is just a little piece of silk that I had cut with pinking shears. can't really gauge what angle she's supposed to be at because I guess that's I guess that's right. I love the dresses from this time period. I don't know if it's 30s or 40s but right in there I believe. Sorry if I was whiny at the beginning of this video. I was just super frustrated with my printer. I don't know how to deal with it when I've got it plugged in and it's still not cooperating. And being so tired, I slept less than four hours last night. That doesn't help. So I apologize. You don't want to watch a video and listen to somebody whine. Oops. Do 
tomorrow I'll have Layla. She doesn't. She lives in New York, right across the border here, and she uh, doesn't start school till after Labor Day. So I have her twice this week, and then I'll have her once more before school starts. So I'll have to go pick her up in the morning and then I'll have her till 2.30 or 3 o'clock. But if I can give her something to do, I might get an opportunity to come in here for a half hour to an hour and make a video. another one. It's the same one I just did, right? Yep. I could do them on the white paper too. Each book will get one of those. Um, what else can I do? I'm going to cut this. I had some responses about my question about getting cracks around the bottom of this nozzle and some of you do have that problem and have already decided to only buy the smaller bottles of glue which was the conclusion that I had come to that I might have to do so not just me so the pages on this in this notebook journal are going to be quite large so I can make a large journaling card out of this. This is just paper not cardstock. I have this ledger paper that I found while I was going through all of my papers yesterday last night which I'd forgotten about so I can use some of this Oh, it's double-sided. I hate to waste a side of double-sided paper. But, I'm gonna, I wanna sew around the edge. So I'm gonna just tape it down in the middle. bit of flowers down there but still plenty of room for writing. project I started working on was I got out the box full of 
costume jewelry that I'd gotten at a flea market last year and I'm sorting through it. I had washed it all, soaked it and washed it last year because it made my hands feel gross when I touched it. But I washed it all and so it's just been set aside waiting for me to do something with it since then. So I'm sorting through it and I'm throwing away some of the things but I am cutting apart the necklaces, like cutting the strings and putting the, ba the beads in baggies. And there are some pieces, there's one necklace that's really cool. I have to use tools, my, my uh, beading tools to open up the uh, jump rings and take these little metal discs off. It's like this whole necklace is full of these little dangling metal discs that would be awesome hanging from bulb pins and stuff, so I have to take that apart. So when I get all this stuff sorted and taken apart, I will be putting little groups of them in junk journals, or in um, in my shop. I'm going to keep some of the beads and then sell pieces. Not just beads, but... Oh, I glued it down. I was going to say that glue went right through there, but I put tape in there. So that's a nice collage. I'm just going to sew around the outside and we'll have this nice big journaling card. I wonder, didn't even think about this, if I'd made it a little shorter. I still could, but no, that matches that. I don't know. I think I'd rather just put this in a pocket. Okay, so I think that's going to be it for right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I have to think about what to do next. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of floundering today. Just trying to think, 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 think. Maybe I'll take one of these and put it on here somehow. Let's just try that before we go go away today. this punch because it has a little bit smaller arc. And I think, well, it doesn't look good. I think I had the end of the paper pushed in too far, so let's try that again. up there. I'll do some sewing on that too. I'll glue the word down but I'll sew this part on. So this is just called playing with what's on your desk. Now, I'm going to do some sewing, and then maybe I'll come back and do a little more, but maybe that won't be posted till the next day. Depends on how many videos I get done today. I want to have one scheduled for tomorrow and one scheduled for the next day. Thanks for watching. 
and I hope you will come back again for the next session. Bye-bye.